The growing demand for a career in cloud computing is a good reason for you to acquire a cloud certification. It can also help you gain better career opportunities in different sectors and locations. Also, certification offers many professional development options that can help you achieve your goals. So in today's session, we're going to talk about one of the leading cloud service providers certification, which is Microsoft Azure certification. Hey guys, this is Aman from Edureka and welcome to today's session on Azure certification. But before we get started, I would like to address the agenda for today's topic. Firstly, we will understand what is Azure certification and see some of the benefits of having it. Next, we will see what are the different types of Azure certification and what are the major role based certification. Moving on, we will have an overview of the exam guide and conclude the session by knowing how can you prepare for the certification. Now let us move on to our first topic and understand what is Azure certification. Azure certification is a level of Microsoft cloud expertise that an individual obtains by passing one or more certification exams. Microsoft Azure certification validates an individual cloud expertise and skills. Now let us move on to our next topic and see some of the benefits of Azure certification. With an Azure certification, you validate your cloud skills in your selected domain. You will earn the credibility and your present or your future employee will know for sure that you have worked on Azure and have the skill as you mentioned. The next advantage is you will have higher salary packages. Business Wire has estimated that Azure course certification have raised their wages by 20 to 40 percent. Payscale.com also announced that based on the position and job description, those credited by Microsoft Azure could get a salary of $128,000 per annum. With the Azure certification, you can pursue a wide range of career options. You can become a cloud architect, a developer, a solution architect, or even AI engineer. There are many options. And in addition to this, the certification enables you to work with different industry at different locations. The next advantage would be it provides a proof of commitment. To get an Azure certification, you should be able to commit yourself to it. You would have to sign up for a course, study, and then only pass the exam. That would imply that you can commit your time and resources towards achieving your goal and that you're dedicated to improving your career objectives in the long term. These were some of the benefits of Azure certification. Now let us move on to our next topic and see what are the types of Azure certification. First, we'll take a look at different Azure certification based on job roles. So first we have developer certification who designs, build, and test cloud solutions. Second, the system administrator who implements, monitors, and maintains Microsoft solution. Third, a solution architect who expertise in compute, network, storage, and security. Fourth, we have the data engineer who designs and implements the management, monitoring, security, and privacy of data using the full stack of data services. Fifth, is data scientist who applies machine learning techniques to train, evaluate, and deploy models that solve business problems. And then sixth, we have the AI engineer who use cognitive services, machine learning, and knowledge mining to architect and implement Microsoft AI solutions. On seventh, we have DevOps engineer who combines people, process, and technologies to continuously deliver valuable products and services to its company. Eighth is a security engineer who implements security control and threat protection. He also manages identity and access and protects data, application, and networks. And last, we have the functional consultant who leverages Microsoft Dynamics 365 and Microsoft Power Platform to anticipate and plan for customer needs. Microsoft Azure certification have four levels of certification. First is the fundamental level, second is the associate level, third is expert, and we have speciality. Now, speciality certification is a certification based on a particular domain. Now, let us move on to our next topic and see some of the major job role based certification. Now, before we get into any major role based certification, I would like to talk about a fundamental certification, which is Microsoft Certified Azure Fundamentals or AZ 900. Now, this certification is intended for candidates who are just beginning to work with cloud based solutions and services or who are new to Azure platform. The certification will provide an opportunity to prove your knowledge of cloud concepts, Azure services, Azure workloads, security and privacy in Azure, as well as Azure pricing and support. Candidates who take the certification should be familiar with general technology concepts, including concepts of networking, storage, compute, application support, and application development. The AZ900 certification is the fundamental certification which can be used to prepare for any other Azure role based 
or speciality certification, but it is not a prerequisite for any of them. Now let us see some of the major role based Azure certification. We have the Azure Administrator Associate or AZ-104. Candidates for the Azure Administrator Associate certification should have subject matter expertise in implementing, managing and monitoring an organization's Microsoft Azure environment. The responsibility include implementing, managing and monitoring the identity, governance, storage, compute and virtual network in a cloud environment. They also have to monitor and adjust resources wherever and whenever needed. They often serve as a part of larger team dedicated to implementing an organization's cloud infrastructure. For this certification, a candidate should have at least six months of hands-on experience administrating Azure. Along with that, they should also have strong understanding of core Azure services, Azure workloads, security and governance. The next certification is Azure Developer Associate or AZ-204. Candidates for the Azure Developer Associate certification should have subject matter expertise in designing, building, testing and maintaining cloud application and services on Microsoft Azure. The responsibilities include participating in all phases of cloud development, from requirements, definition and design, to development, deployment and maintenance, to performance tuning and monitoring. Azure developers should participate with cloud solution architect, cloud administrator and clients to implement solutions. A candidate appearing for this certification should have at least one or two years professional development experience and experience with Microsoft Azure. Next, we have an expert level certification, which is Azure Solutions Architect Expert or AZ-303 or 304. Candidates for the Azure Solution Architect Expert certification should have subject matter expertise in designing and implementing solution that run on Microsoft Azure, which would include aspects like compute, network, storage and security. The responsibilities include advising stakeholders and also translating business requirements into secure, scalable and reliable cloud solutions. They should partner with cloud administrator, cloud DBAs and clients to implement solutions. A candidate appearing for the certification should have advanced experience and knowledge of IT operation and also know how decision in each area affects an overall solution. These were some of the major role based certification. Now let us move on to our next topic and see an overview of the exam guide. First, we have the exam format or question types. Microsoft continuously introduces innovative testing technologies and question types. Your exam might contain questions like multiple choices, repeated answer choices, short answers, mock review, drag and drop, laps and so on. The time limit for different examination is for associate and expert job role exams, you have 130 minutes to complete it. For job role fundamental exams, you have 60 minutes to complete it. For associate and expert job role exam that contains lab, you have 150 minutes to complete it. Now talking about the cost for the exam, for the fundamental exam, it would cost you 99 US dollars. For the associate and the expert level exams, the cost is 165 US dollars. And you can write the certification exams in either English, Chinese, Korean or Japanese. Now the fundamental certification can also be written in Spanish, German or French. Now let us move on to a last and important topic, which is how can you prepare for the certification? First, start with the basics. So if you're not 100% sure which certification to start with, I would recommend you to start small by taking the AZ-900 Azure Fundamental Certification Exam. This will help you understand how Microsoft exam work by not being too deep into technologies. And after you have experience taking the Microsoft exam, this will help you understand how Microsoft exam work while not being too deep into the technology. Having experience taking the Microsoft exam, it will also help you focus on the actual topic and not on the testing process. The next step is to understand the exam content. The first thing to do after you decide which exam you're going to write is to see what you're asked during the exam. Every Microsoft exam page has the skill measured in the exam. This list is very accurate and helps you focus and study the right content. The page will also have some training and courses to prepare for the exam. You should also understand the different question types asked in the exam, which will help you in the certification. The next step is to take hands on learning courses on Microsoft Learn for free. Microsoft Learn is a free learning platform for a lot of different Microsoft technologies. It provides you with various learning paths depending on your job roles or the skills you're looking for. Most of the learning paths gives you a hands on learning opportunity so that you can develop practical skills through interactive training. The next and the most important step is hands on experience. 
The best way to learn and pass the Microsoft Azure exams is by having real hands-on experience working with the technology. While Microsoft Learn gives you some free hands-on learning modules, there is also Azure Free Account. The Azure Free Account will provide you with 12 months of free Azure services so you can work on various Azure services for free. Now the next step which will help you prepare for the certification is reading the Microsoft documentation. It will help you understand the topic better which might appear in the exam. As I've mentioned before, read the skills measured on the exam page. Look up for the specific Microsoft documentation pages and read through them and then try them out in the tutorials. You can also refer some books from Microsoft Press. You can find Microsoft Azure documentation and Microsoft Press in Microsoft Azure certification official page. After the step, you can also take up a practice exam. Some of the Azure certification have practice examination along with it, which is very similar to the actual certification examination. And with this, we have come to the end of our video. I hope it was helpful. Happy learning.